back to, to your asset values. So you see now, yeah, so it is 2021. So I just go back. So now you see, so why it is showing 80,000? Because this is my live company code. The depreciation run already finished until um, if you look into here, the depreciation I already executed until June. So you can check on the AFDP, which is a depreciation log. So where it will clearly explain which is already in your, so let's say five, this test sets, click execute. So what the system show, whether any depreciation posted for period five or not, in this case, the system will show here. So you see here, this depreciation is already posted. So now let's say when I execute for six, also posted. So, not possible corresponding and uh, yeah, so it's not posted, sorry, because it, you can see here in the asset, so this is still to be posted. So now what will happen? So when you look into our business example, exactly, so you see now, so what happened here? So in the asset explorer, this is the depreciation to be posted till the month of June. So every month, this is how the system will do auto round off here. So this is one lakh, uh, let's say, is one sixty thousands. Uh, so now comparisons. So other period, nothing is showing, right? So now, when you go here, so you can see this is our depreciation key. So if you look into our depreciation key. You can see this is what we defined. So now this is the useful life. And also if you want to see the depreciation key, you can display what and all we defined for this key. So you can see all these values where the system is automatically showing on the depreciation point of view. So when you go back, So you can see now, so this is how the depreciation calculator by using the scenario what I explained here. So in this scenario, I only maintain for 2020, which is my first year of year one. So now if I maintain the same values for 2021, let's say, So now I'm going to copy the same values. Let's see how the system is going to show you. So for maintaining these values, so I need to again go back to the same. Before running the depreciation, this needs to be maintained. So I go back here financial accounting and the fixed assets, environment, current settings, refined production units. So your entity depreciation key, UM. So now I just copy all the block here, just copy it. So now I'm going to copy this and paste it. So now press enter. So everything is copied. So now you see here the system automatically adjusted the remaining units based on the total number of units. So now click save. Okay, go back. So now you can see here, this is how the remaining units is calculated. So now if you can go back to the asset explorer. So 
So I go to the same asset explorer. Zero one and it's okay. So you can see now comparisons. So we are exhibit. So what will happen here? I need to rerun. So now you maintain for 2021 these uh, these now this you need to run now if you look into here nothing is showing 2020 only showing so nothing is actually showed even you maintain the for 2021 the reason behind this is you need to run AF Really crossing here and uh, this is a AFAR sorry so we have to try to recalculate now again just select the assets click execute okay so now the system is going to recalculate the values here so you can see this is how for the asset it's actually old is actually zero for 2021 see because since you are recalculating it the system is calculating new value as 160 so now after you do the recalculation Sorry, I need to go here, AW01M. So here, you can see comparison, actually nothing showing for 2020. So now what will happen, you see when you run this AFAR, which is removing test run, then the system is going to show you so now i will show you to execute click on execute it's always says in the background so I click run background click ok immediate and then click save so now you come back here so refresh so now if you look into here so what happens so the system recalculated for the next year which is exactly same what we have done so every time if you're maintaining new values I always recommend to run this AFAR which is a recalculating the depreciation so this always helps for uh, whenever the, if there is any changes for the depreciation key or asset so now you see now it exactly meet what is required here so when you look into this asset so it's showing now for 2021 so what is the depreciation is same so what you need to do every time if there is any changes to the number of units i would always recommend if you change the number of units always you need to run that to recalculate the depreciation so then the system will automatically adjust for the depreciation like here now you can reflect the correct accounting post. Thank you.